Here's the mock-up that we're going to be using for testing. And here's a circuit for a uh, TL494. That's this chip here. This is the one that's working. And you can see the way that I built this this time. Rather than use a whole bunch of these leads that go everywhere and you got a, this big ball of wire I decided to cut the wire and lay it flat and uh, that gives me access to the chip and uh, I have much less chance of uh, moving or disconnecting a wire. Now the the purpose of this is we've got a new board with this chip on it and it is not working on the board the new board and the board does have a socket for this chip so we can easily pull it in and out right now without this trainer we can't tell if the chip is working or not uh, it would also be nice to know uh, of course if the chips working but uh, the worst case scenario would be that the board is blowing the chip which would not be good but at least when we know we've got a working uh, chip like this and this is what the output looks like measured from the collector of these two transistors here this is the output with this chip running right now that's what we should have on our new board also but we have nothing so what we're going to be doing is here's an extra chip right here and it should be good I believe and to demo this what I'll do is we'll just remove this chip turn off the power and let's see there we go And let me turn this around. What, uh, what end do I have? Okay. There we go. Now I'll just set this aside over here. And I'll bring this one up. Grab pretty good sometimes. All right, now get this lined up here. Yeah, that looks good. And let's see. That's the front. Yep. Okay. I'm just double checking before I push it down. Okay, and let's say that's from the, the board. Now we turn it back on. And this one is working. Let me take a, a picture of this. Here we go. This is the chip I just plugged in. And this is what it looks like, which is pretty much identical. So that's the idea of this mock-up and uh, it'll come in pretty handy if you're doing board design like we're doing right now and imagine that something isn't working. And I told uh, my friend Russ, I told him I'd, I'd be surprised if it worked. 
that would be the surprise. So anyway, that's the whole idea of this, is so at least we can tell if the chip is working and also we'd be able to tell if the board is blowing up chips. Hopefully not. Thanks for watching.